Hello everybody, my name is Kill Crone, and welcome back to the channel. So in this video, I wanted to show you guys a little technique that I've learned from other YouTubers, such as Trevor Jones from Astro Backyard, um, of how to do like a star reduction, and a really like powerful one too, that so you can really make your nebulae photos really pop, because I had a f I had a problem with this photo when I first saw it and stretched it. So I did a few stretches here. Um, this is the Veil Complex in the co in the constellation Cygnus. Probably one of my favorite images that I've captured so far with this lens. Um, and I've captured a f quite a few with this lens and this is by far the favorite. And I had an issue with the stars. The star, there's a lot of stars in this area of space. And I was kind of underwhelmed with the detail I was getting. But then I did a star reduction and it was like, I was seeing a whole new like image. It was amazing. So it's, I haven't fully stretched this image. So I'm gonna stretch it just a little bit more and show you that this technique works so well. And I'm gonna show you right now. And um, obviously there's some vignetting issues here and and I can fix that right now. I'm just gonna do a really, really, really quick gradient exterminator just to kind of even out that lighting. And there you go, looks much better. Um, but I'm gonna show you right now how to do that star reduction. And I learned this from Astro Backyard. It helped me a lot. Um, so we're gonna get to that right now. There's some round stars. Uh, Man, like usually with stars, I wouldn't mind the stars if they were natural color. Like with the L Extreme, they're kind of red and gross. I don't like that too much. And um, I have a few techniques to like, or I have a technique to kind of, you know, take away that color. But I'm gonna show you right now how I do that. And um, I'm just gonna bring up more detail to make it look cooler. So I'm just gonna go into here and just up that up, up the clarity up, just up the what 40 let's just say 40 oh, there we go just a 40 for fun there we go more of the details there so now we're gonna remove the star or not remove the stars we're gonna minimize the stars and make this pop very nicely so what you're gonna do I'm just gonna make a new layer just so we can see the before and after and name it stars so what we're gonna do first is go to select and then color range and here there's sample colors and it gives you all these you can choose what you want like reds and the cyans and the, whatever the blues which I really haven't experimented with I might start doing that to be honest but um what you want to do is go to highlights and you're just gonna go click that and you want this to be on the selection not the image just go to selection so it shows this black and white image and you can play around with this with the range and I'm actually gonna up the range like that let's just say that and we're gonna click OK and it's just gonna select all the stars well not all of them because there's another step you have to do and usually what I do is go to select again modify expand and it'll bring up this window and four I think it's a little bit too much but I'll do three so there's three and it really, really t brings out the stars. And um, what you gotta do next to kind of feather those edges is you're gonna go to select again, modify, feather. And then I'm just gonna feather that by two, why not? And then it, sh it should feather the edges, make a more smoother edge around those stars. And um, what I'll do next is the most satisfying part in processing astrophotography images. It is my favorite part of of astro imaging or astro processing and that's minimizing the stars and I'm gonna do that right now so what you do after is go to filter go down to other minimum and you can play around with the radius I keep it on 1.5 that is the sweet spot for me with this, with this lens at least so I'm gonna do that and you can tell before and after this is gonna be big so I'm gonna click OK, and it did it, it did it. So I'm gonna go to select again, and then inverse, not inverse, sorry, 
deselect and there you go it just bring when i did that for the first time there's so many hidden details that i like you don't see like all this nebulae right here is there is this there i'm like i was so like it gave me so much hope when i was processing this because i was like i don't like these stars it just looks really bad it looks just not good and i did that i did the star reduction and it just blew like all the detail just popped in my face um and i'll show you the i'll show you because the stars are red we don't like that i mean at least i don't this is not natural so i'm gonna just i'm going to go back like that Uh, I'm gonna redo that. Not the inverse. I'm gonna go back here and I'm going to adjust. So I just I just undo I just undid what I just did because I want to show you the the star color right now because it's still red. So what I do is when everything's selected, when you do all those selections, you can go to adjustment and then hue and saturation. I go to saturation and kind of pull those down just a bit, just like so. And it kind of brings out it kind of the red kind of leaves you know we don't want red on the uh on the stars but you got to be careful because it might select the nebulae which it is doing here but this is just like a video and i'm just showing you what the star selection and there you go the stars look much better than they did they're not red anymore and it, this it, this works so well like look at that boom no stars no stars it just brings out the nebulae so well especially with this target like it just brings out the wispy clouds and it looks awesome and the red cast around here i just i, I don't know how i did that to be honest i, I kind of just went on with processing and just kind of went away <laughs> i don't know sometimes i forget how i process my photos but that is what i do for star reduction usually and usually with this lens the broken on 135 I usually just I usually just do one star reduction and it just works flawlessly and with this target it just made me so happy to see that the detail was there it's just the stars were just so overwhelming and I don't like that this takes away from the image very much for me and this this, this is so awesome so uh, thank you Trevor for making that video <laughs> a long time ago because this helps but uh, I hope I helped you guys with that. Um, um, yeah, if you're having trouble with stars, that is a great way to take away the stars uh, a little bit more. So uh, I gotta get to imaging. It's 9 p.m. now and it should be clear. So I'm gonna be imaging tonight. I'm starting a new project, cannot wait. Um, I'm gonna try, I've never shot, I know I have shot it, but it was like an hour of data and I never shot it again. That was with the Xena star. But I'm shooting it again tonight. So, anyway, yes, this is a star reduction video. If you ever have issues with stars, too many stars, use this. Use this. Um, there's also star net that you can use, but I like this. This is fun. I like this. But um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Really short video. It's been a while, but um, I hope you use this info to make your images look better. Unless you like the star, the stars. And some people do, some people love stars. So, hey, that's you. I like stars too, but not too many. I will see you guys in the next video. Uh, yeah, clear skies, everyone.